he violated one of the Ten Commandments he was about to find, didn't he? Which is, thou shalt not kill. You're uh, the slave masters, dude. They can kill multiple people by whipping uh, all the blood. You don't know that. You don't know that. Some slave masters he are... He didn't get the commandments yet. He I understand that. He didn't get the commandments for... But you don't need commandments to have the common sense not to kill someone, okay? Okay? So... Well, wait. Excuse me, give me the damn mic. There are some very nice slave masters. He killed a real damn slave master. Very nice slave master. They, Do you know what a slave master is? You will let him free? Do you know what a slave master is? You will let him free? Uh, welcome back to uh, the Thinker Classic Interviews, okay? Uh, today here we are with, uh, what's your name? Okay, uh, just like every other religion, we're going to preface this religion, Judaism, with a special commentary uh, from my own editor, okay? Now, here's the commentary. Are you ready for this, sir? There are some religions behind their times, some religions ahead of their times, and then there's Judaism. <laughs> you can probably predict what I'm about to say, right? It's closer to the Stone Age than the Stone Law. Okay, this debate, my intention is to bomb bag this prehistoric religion back to where it belongs. And I'm going to take you with it. You belong in the prehistoric times, my friend. Not right here with me. You should be happy, privileged that I invited you here. Now, we're going to go ahead and start with the first question, which is this. God created two people. Who were they? Adam and Eve. And he created them in the Garden of Eden, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, he allowed Adam and Eve to enjoy every pleasure of the garden except one. Which was that? Apple. Good. Seems like you're following the logic here with your uh, two little brain cells. Now, he did allow them to enjoy every other pleasure except the apple. And yet, what did they do? They violated his only rule. They bit into the apple and thus violated God's rule. That was their original sin, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, Judaism, much like Adam and Eve, has its own original sin. And in fact, it rhymes with Judaism. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can guess what it is. It's plagiarism, my friend. Plagiarism. Judaism has violated one of its own Ten Commandments, which is, Thou shalt not steal. What has it stolen from other religions? I'll tell you what it's stolen. Number one, it's stolen the idea of the monotheistic God. Number one. Number two, it's stolen the idea of one holy book. Number two. Number three, it's stolen the idea of one founder. That are the three ideas that Judaism stole. Okay? It's a stolen religion that has violated its own rules. Now tell me why you subscribe to a religion with no credibility, my friend. It's a trick question. Both of them plagiarized each other. As a result, both of them got punished for their sins and assassinated at a young age, my friend. That's the punishment of committing a sin. What? You're committing a sin right here by lying to me. But keep going. I'm lying? Keep going. He, he went, they, don't be with the teacher from LK. Okay. okay. Here, uh, I don't follow the logic of that statement, so... One, I can either choose to ignore it, which I think is a better spending of my time, or I can address it, which is a waste of my time. So I'm going to just 
not address it, okay? It's a waste of my time, my valuable time, which I spent inviting you on my show. Okay, we're gonna go ahead to question number two, which is this. Judaism, unlike all the other world religions, has a crap number of followers. In fact, it has 14 million followers, million M, M for money. Now, I have more brain cells than Judaism has followers. Can you tell me why you subscribe to a religion that has basically no other people following it? That's, an, uh, that is a very incredible statement you said there. Because you have, well, we have both have more than 200 billion cells in our brain. You, my friend, are a subject of the dying tour girlfriend. You know this much about Judaism, yet you claim to know this much. Your confidence is over the top. Excuse me, excuse me. I have many Jewish friends. Don't you ever tell me I'm a Wikipedia Jew, okay? For your information, I did not read off of Wikipedia. I read off of YouTube. But Keep going. Read right off of YouTube? I'm confused now. By, by the way, let, by the way, do you know something called the, no, let me just start from the beginning because your little brain can't process if I just start from the middle of Judaism story. Okay, keep going. So, God created Adam and Eve, and as you said, Adam and Eve violated God's only rule, which is to not take that apple from the Eden Garden, and Adam took a bite of the apple, so they got sent down to earth, and then after a long, long way, and there was a, a man named Noah. Noah was born. And so, uh, after all this time, after five generations, people were still not following God's rules. People were still violating God's rules. So, God decided to send a plethora of natural disasters to Earth. Allowing nobody but no one in his family to survive. So he told Noah to build a boat because I think the word ark is too complicated for the little boat. So he uh, he uh, took a boat. Uh, he uh, God asked Noah to build a boat to paddle away from all the disasters. And so that is Noah's ark, or Noah's boat, I should call it, because you can't even process. I can see you're getting tired of your own story. If you want to end it right here and right now, no. give me the mic and we'll get this over with. No, I am not ending it right here. You aggressive man who doesn't know anything about Judaism, you're a Wikipedia Jew. No, you are already in Wikipedia Jew. Uh, you read all of this information from a garbage 1993 uh, uh, uncredited. Uh, website. I have more Jewish friends than you ever will. Let me tell you the whole story of Judaism. So Noah, after a long, long way, he gave birth to Abraham. Now, Abraham uh, in 1996 BC was born and uh, Sorry, he settled in 1996? So that was 24 years ago. No, B.C. B.C. You don't understand the concept of B.C. Whatever, and A.D. I whatever. Keep going, keep going. Uh, I'm sure there's no logic to the story anyway, so why do I bother? <laughs> keep going, okay. Dude. Uh, now, uh, in 1996 B.C., Abraham was born. Abraham who? Abraham. You know religion, man? Abraham, stop being in my face. Okay, so Abraham uh, stayed in Haran. He was uh, he was uh, settled in Haran for around seventy five years. Then he decided to depart for Canaan. Now uh, he now he there he didn't spend long because of a certain famine, but he did make a covenant with God when he was 90 years and 9. He was when he was 90.
99, he made a covenant with God. If he left, uh, if he left his uh, father's land, if he left, uh, if he left his father's land, then he would rule all of Can his descendants would rule all of Canaan, and he would have children. Hand it over. Hand it over. No. Hand it over. It's my over. damn show. I am not handing it over. Because you have given me the privilege to be on your show. Therefore, yeah. I have to be it for a certain, uh, on it for a certain amount of time. Yeah. So now I'll give you the privilege of getting demolished by my own argument. Please continue. Okay. So, uh, Abraham made a... Uh, so now Abraham was laughing hysterically because you are probably thinking, how would a 100-year-old man father a child? As a what? matter of fact, I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking, how did you end up on my show? How did I in end up inviting you, of all people? But please continue. Rude. Rude man. <laughs> yeah, that's what all the liars call me. But please continue. Now... Now Abraham who was laughing hysterically because how can one hundred year old man father a child? He can. So he can. It's ex extremely difficult. Uh, so he, uh, so he was laughing hysterically, but he decided to do it anyway because he believed in God. Uh, so he left to uh, terror. He left uh, terror. Uh, and he left his father in there. Uh, then, uh, uh, because of a certain famine, uh, um, he had to move, Abraham had to move from Canaan to Egypt. So he had to settle in Egypt now. So uh, Egypt, uh, Isaac was also born. Uh, I think an Ismael was born because uh, Abraham had a wife uh, named Sarai, has or has yet to be named Sarah by God, and he he also had a servant named Hagar. So uh, he um so uh, Sarah's servant was Hagar, and uh, Abraham apparently uh, did something with Hagar. And uh, gave birth to Israel. No, no, Wait a minute. Ismael, Ismael. Did I hear that right? Ismael, Ismael, Ismael. Then, um, Sarah and Abraham uh, gave birth to Isaac and Isaac. <laughs> Just Isaac. Seems like all of these people have only first names. Kind of fishy, but keep going. You don't have a middle name. I have no name. As I told you, I prefer no jurisdiction. Please continue. Well, anyways, let me continue further with the story, okay? Now, Isaac was open. And Isaac met with Rebecca some time after some time. And that gave birth to Jacob. Or Israel, as he was named. So Israel, uh, uh, Israel was named by God, and he ended up changing the name of Canaan to Israel. <laughs> so he was one of the main founders of Judaism, and he gave birth to the Israelites, which are like a lot of people. But the two main founders are Jacob and Joseph. One of the Jacob's sons. <clears throat> now, uh, Abraham had to migrate to Egypt with his wife, uh, Sarah. Uh, and uh, after a while, so the Egyptians greeted them cordially. Uh, but, uh, and after a while, uh, there was an overload of Jews. And at this time, Moses was born. So Sorry, Mo excuse me. Did I hear that right? Mo who? Moses. Moses. Sounds like a fishy name again, just a first name. I'll let you continue. Uh, 
Okay. Sounds like you're inventing characters on the go, but I'll let you continue. Moses, Moses, how was, how well, you say no, because you have no religion. Uh, anyway, Moses, stop, look at me, Moses, he uh, uh, was a baby at that time, and the Pharaoh of Egypt was scared of the Jews overpowering Egypt. So the uh, Pharaoh ordered all male, uh, uh, all boys, to, uh, all Jewish boys to be drowned in the Nile River. Mm. Now, uh, uh, Abraham and Sarah had been uh, want to let, no, no, uh, uh, Moses' parents didn't want to let go of their child. So uh, they hid uh, them for three months, and uh, they hid Moses for three months, and then decided to put him in the Nile River. But he had uh, not, but not with just any basket. Uh, and the parents uh, realized that if they made it, uh, the basket out of reeds, then, uh, if, then uh, Moses would float. So they made uh, the uh, boat um, out of reeds, and it actually worked. Uh, Moses was now floating on the middle of the Nile River. Now, one day, when the Egyptian princess was bathing, she found Moses in the middle, uh, she found Moses in the middle of nowhere, and she decided to raise him secretly. So, uh, she decided to raise Moses secretly. And that until Moses became an adult. Then Moses decided to kill a slave master. What did you say? Kill a slave Excuse me. Master. What? I deserve the mic. He killed the slave master? So he violated one of the Ten Commandments he was about to find, didn't he? Which is, thou shalt not kill. You have uh, a slave master's do? They can kill multiple people by whipping uh, all the blood. You don't know that. You don't know that. Some slave masters he are... He didn't get the commandments yet. He I understand that. He didn't get the commandments for... But you don't need commandments to have the common sense not to kill someone, okay? Okay? So... What would he... Do you know what slave master do? They don't have common sense. They whip blood out of something. Excuse me. Give me the damn mic. There are some very nice slave masters. He killed a real damn slave master. Very Excuse me. nice slave master. They, do you know what slave master is? You will let him free. Excuse me. They get a... Give me the mic. Give me the damn mic. They get a bad Why name. Ruber? But there were some very good, good, good slave masters. What? I myself have, happen to know a few of them, but they were. Don't give them a bad name by being on my show, okay? Please. Respect. Just because there are a few rotten apples, you don't have to paint them all bad. So you don't know Moses killed a bad slave master. He killed a bad slave master. Yeah, you assume that. A bad one. Okay. You assume that. Do more research. Yeah, I have enough Jewish friends. I don't need to do research, sir. You're the one who needs to go back and do research. Please um, continue. I have news for you. How do you have Jewish friends? You don't have any friends. Now, anyway, let me get back to the story. Now, Moses had been in the The Egyptian pharaoh wasn't Jewish. Please continue. You, you, you said, oh, you don't need to be Jewish. You don't need to have the Ten Commandments. You, this is just common sense. And now you say, this, you hypocrite. I found hypocritical statements in this man. I'm not... Hypocrite brain, hypocrite brain. Hypocrite brain, hypocrite brain. Not in true for me. Not in true for me. Who are you calling hypocrite? Moses or me? Whoa! 
Give me the damn mic. You're I struggling too much. It. Excuse me. You're struggling a bit too much. Okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and continue. Oh, you have more stories. If you think, uh, if you think that you know so much and you know it all about Judith, uh, about Judaism, then why don't you tell us the Ten Commandments? <laughs> I'll tell you the Ten Commandments. One of the Ten Commandments is not to kill, which is the exact one that Moses violated when he killed the slave master. I don't need to know any other commandments except the one that thou shalt not kill, the one that Moses violated. I'm sorry. A set of Stop right there. Stop right there. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. Give me. A hundred concentration camps scattered around here. It's wrinkled around here. And um, people are being trapped and crammed in these uh, concentration camps constantly. Give me the mic. Uh, being gassed me... and uh, burned alive. Give me the mic. I just wanted to clarify it. Hello what? Holocaust! The Holocaust! Well, my friend, I'll tell you what caused the Holocaust. Are you ready for this, my friend? Now, when I hear Westerners like you speak of the Holocaust like this, I shake my head. Do you know why I shake my head? Because you don't know the actual story. Do you want to tell me the actual story? The yes. story that you believe? Yes. This is the full story of the Holocaust. So, when World War I was lost, the Germans blamed all the Jews about uh, the uh, map. Uh, now, in World War II, uh, Hitler was born sometime after World War I, but before World War II. So Hitler was actually taught to hate Jews. So when Hitler grew up, one mission and one mission only exterminate all Jews. Exterminate all Jews. He even wrote a book in prison uh, just uh, to exterminate, just to give his ideas to exterminate all Jews. Now, uh, and what he did is he set up a thousand concentration camps around Europe and he uh, locked people in them. Uh, and uh, he tried to like mask up all. The, uh, he tried to mask up the rotten horror that was waiting for them there uh, by playing Siri music and welcome gate, and then uh, they put a fire in the distance. And people you uh, used to ask, "What is that fire for?" And uh, uh, they would say, "Oh, uh, the fire is for cooking food. We will conjure up some food." For us. But in uh, actuality. Yeah. Two million people will die. Yeah, no, I feel very bad. What? 
for you. I look at you, talk about the Holocaust, and I feel bad because it looks like you really believe in it, and I, sometimes I can't tell when people lie. Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me, let me finish, okay? It looks like you really believe in the Holocaust, and you know, the only reason why I have this show, this, these interviews are to enlighten people about the true cause of these kinds of things, okay? So, allow me to clear up the hot goblins in your mind. Excuse me. What are you doing, sir? Not this the is, hot goblins in my mind, this is yours! This is my show. Can you let me finish? Okay. Why? Really? Now, this might be a little hard for you to follow because I know you're an emotional kind of uh, rabbi or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna take it step by step so you can follow along, okay? Now, as you pro as you said, the, 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 the Jews always wanted to go to Canaan, the holy promised land out of Jerusalem. Is that correct? Yes. Now, they could do that in one of two ways. They could invade Palestine, which is obviously not an option because there's not many Jews, as I said. There's less Jew Jewish than there are brain cells in my brain. So that's not an option. The second, much more possible option, is to evoke pity in the international community by conjuring up this idea of the Holocaust, so that the international community will provide Palestine I to the see, Jews. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse. You have no mercy, no empathy for six point two million. Excuse me. Give me the, can you give me the mic? It is my show, okay? Hi. You asked me if I know Adolf Hitler. I'll tell you what I do know. The Jews created the Holocaust to get Palestine. It's as simple as that. Don't make the story any more complicated than it has to be. Let me give you some real hard evidence. Let me give you evidence, okay? I can see your face getting twisted already because you can't understand what I'm about to say. Okay? I can't understand why the whole goblins are manifested you... in your mind like this. So you don't have empathy for 6.2 million people. You are lying you from the reality. You were talking about the golden gates and the and the burning. Let why? me tell you something. Those weren't Jews getting burned. They were this wasn't this wasn't gas chambers. These were love chambers. What? Chambers where the Jews were getting nurtured. They were getting nurtured, my friend. The Jews were getting food. Nurtured. These were not they were getting these, nurtured. Excuse me. These were not concentration camps. These were refugee camps. No, they weren't refugee camps. They were concentration camps. Packed with bats. Do you have any evidence that oh they're refugee camps? You're covering up. I do. I do. Blah, 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 blah. You said they were pumped with gas, my friend. But they were pumped with love. That's why so many of the I Jews... No! Love. Why do you think so many Jews got together in one place? It was like a community gathering. It's and beautiful. They were it's beautiful. They were crammed! And they were working that! And they were gassed to that! It's goddamn beautiful. And that's what I like beautiful. to call it. You call the death of 6.2 million people beautiful? I what is wrong with you? Don't put words in my mouth. Don't put words in my mouth, okay, sir? What I said was, I'm not sure what I said, but uh, yeah, I lost my memory. Keep going. Why don't you say everything? Okay, I'll say no, what no. I was gonna say, okay? I was gonna say that there is concrete evidence that the Holocaust was completely fabricated, okay? That's and that, that complete evidence comes in the form of not the concentration camps, but the refugee camps. The nurturing, the nurturing camps, the, the camps of love. Camps of love, nurturing camps. Doctor Joseph, we already told you about him already. Did you heard? Did you hear what horrible experiments he did on people? Uh, this refugee, this refugee camp is like twice as worse as that. Uh, this refugee camp idea is like twice as worse as those experiments. Okay, so 
Now, well, you, if you get a packed crowd, uh, no, 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 crowd, listen to me. Do you think everybody loving each other, or do you think that okay. everybody's suffering each other? Okay. Loving or suffering? Okay, you said that two thirds of the Jews were killed during the Holocaust. Now, I found a hole in your evidence. You want to hear that hole? If two thirds of the Jews were killed, that means only three million would remain. If the Holocaust was true, right? But, but there are 14 million Jews today, meaning the Holocaust never happened, okay? Six million Jews never disappeared. Your numbers are what I like to call bogus, my friend. And I want you to admit that. Now he's, he's just making up. He's, he's pulling numbers from the air. You see? Every air molecule is a number for him. A number here. A number there. Keep making up numbers, sir. Let me hear you that. Look at this. So, the, there were around 16 million Jews by the time World War II began, and these horrible experiments in concentration camps were released. Excuse me. Wait, let me do it myself. 8.2 million Jews left. No. There would be no. 9.2 million Jews. 9.8 million Jews left. Okay. So it would be easy for them to get back and forth to the million. By the way, it was this was 60 years ago, not today. So it's possible for them to ride back up to 14 million. You, t your turn. Okay. Let me get the math straight. Okay. You know what, I'm not going to waste my time on this crap, okay? We're going to move on to another subject, which is actual Jewish culture, okay? Not this crap history that we can keep on debating about. But you keep pulling up numbers from here and there. I saw you literally grabbing for the air. What? You said 16 million, like it's some kind of air molecule, okay? Excuse me, don't change, don't try to change the subject here. Why? I'm going to move on to the subject of one of the most famous Jewish traditions. <clears throat> Are you ready to hear it? I don't know why I accepted the invitation to this place. I, I don't know why I invited you in the first place, but I'm going to keep going, okay? The Jewish people have a history of that, okay? And that is this. Well, I'm going to keep talking to myself, okay, folks? Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. 